M0 FXB ham radio diary. Zero FXB, just going to show you sending a photograph from the FT300 to the FT3. It does have to be the right file, or it'll photo it will fail. I'm going to attach how you get the right file onto into the SD card um, to do this. Now, I haven't got a camera, you know, one of those microphone with cameras. So this is just doing it with your SD card. Uh, so let's just do it. I'll show you how far I've got so far. So get them both on the same frequency, both in digital narrow mode at the moment. Then hit GM on both. Uh, this is simplex, no tone, nothing. So simplex, so GM on the, or group mode on the FT3. Group mode here on the, darken it down so you can see the text on the FT300 so they're sort of talking to each other giving each other their location and there's lots you can do with this um, but for now we're just talking about photograph sending so now on the FT300 just press the F button then press the log button well, actually no you can't press the screen because it's uh, it's not the FT3 press the round knob top right round knob and look you can scroll you can turn the knob up and down you could actually send text messages haven't seen the voice one yet. I'm not sure what that one does. Maybe it's a voice recording, I would guess. I probably need to make a voice recording and then send it. So that's another another video. But anyway, uh, down to pictures. Select that and you'll see that I've actually got one showing up here. Now, that took me ages to work out how to do that. So I'll attach how I did it to this video. So then you just uh, select it. It shows it. Now, do we have to push it again to send it? Now, it's just because I actually haven't done this yet, but you can see the photo that I've saved. So I'll push it again. Yeah, so I had to push the F button, and then it gave me the option to edit or send. So we're now going to click send. We have to select it with, I keep thinking this is an FT, FT3. I'm do, using the knob to select highlight it in red and then push the knob uh, to all or I'm going to send it to myself uh, right it's saying sending let's see if the FT3 well the FT3 is now saying waiting so it I have had a few fails on this but it doesn't matter because at least you get the idea of what we're doing Sorry about the glare. Just getting glare from around this location. I'll just pause it so you don't have to wait for ages. Okay, well the 300 says completed. I wouldn't say that the the 3 said received or, or anything, but that's as far as I've got with it. Let me know where, where I'm going wrong. 7-3, all the best. I mean, if you do receive it, you just go in in your FT3. You just hit log and go to picture. I mean, it's showing it in my log, but I'm not sure if that's what I received. What's the time? Um, you know, it's, it's definitely today's date, but the time is all... No, the time doesn't look far off, actually, so that could be it. So hopefully that was successful. 7-3, all the best. M0FXB, just uh, another video. So, what it is, if you haven't got a camera for your FT3D, FT300, FT400, FT2, you need to get an image onto your SD card um, so you can send it. First thing you've got to do is get yourself an SD card, put it in the radio and format it because that will create uh, a file that looks like this on your SD card. So I'll double click it. Okay, you'll have, ignore these bottom three, you'll have all these things here. One of them is called photo. You can see I've got a photo in mine, which I will, I will delete because um, I want to show you how to get the correct photo in there. So 
I've been trying like crazy, resizing photos. Now you do have to resize a photo um, to the correct size for the FT3D. And I, it's in the radio. Let me just check. I think it's 320. Let's have a look on, if I can look in the radio. <clears throat> Go back. You go into your menu, go menu, I mean it's not a very good picture, go to options, go to USB camera and look it says it on there, you've got two choices of size, 320 by 240 or if you select there, 160 by 120, okay? so. I've got a photo here. Now, there's two things you need. Now, this um, ham, DC5KW, has, has created some freeware, which sort of does the work for you. It doesn't resize the photo, but it gets the photo in a, in a state where your uh, radio will use it. Because before I did this, it wouldn't use it. So, see where it says here, FTM400XC. I know it's in German. Um, that's the one I used. So you've got two here. I'm not sure why there's two, but that's the one I use. So, if, so double click it and run it. So basically what you end up with is this little XC here. So what you do then is get the photo you're going to use and put it in that file. So there it is. I've called the file blur just for easy recognition. Now you don't drag it into, because what you'd think you'd do is just drag it into your photo file, but no, you don't. That doesn't work. Not sure why it's got to have the correct number, the correct format, whatever. So then what you do is, now at the moment, if we look in the photo file, it's blank. Nothing in there. Now this does it for you. So watch this. I'll run the XE and FTM 400, and it is for, he wrote this for the FTM 400, but I've tested it. It works on the three. Actually, I have to test it on the 300, but, but anyway, let's just do this. So just OK that and you get this and see the way it's already detected that my blur photo is is you know is, is the one I'm going to use and you can have more you can have more and then you just do control all or I think to, to select them all and it will convert them all for you but I'm just going to convert one so all you do is literally select it and then right click it and it vanishes see that now if we look in photo there it is there's the file it's been put there for you it's got this special number and I've tested it on, on the FT3 and it definitely works. I've tried to send it across. There was an error, but that's probably to do with my settings on the FT300. I just tried to send it from the FT3 to the FT300. But I'm going to keep playing. But for now, I'm just going to put this video on YouTube so you guys can all have a, have a play. I think it's great. And thanks to DC5KW for creating this, uh, this executable file that does the work for us. So let me know how you get on with it. 7-3.